Hi, my name is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and uh, I'm at my desk in North Thailand in Chiang Mai. It's uh, the 7th of August, and for me it's 11 o'clock at night, but American time, when this conference started, it's early morning and it's going to happen all day, and it's a conference from Edmodo, um, online learning platform and content management system and communication system. I've got their logo here. And I'm not sure how often they have this. I think it's only once a year. And for some reason, I think this might be the third one that they've had. And t t two things I wanted to look at here. One is they're using a, a, a webcasting a webinar platform, which I've not experienced before. So I want to go through that. And I just want to go through how you'd actually join their conference or look at all the different elements where you can communicate during the conference. This is just a splash page on, uh, in Microsoft Word. <laughs> Are people still using Word? Some information about me there. And some of the uh, URLs that I'm using during the next few minutes are all here as well. And this is probably the best starting point here, edmodocon.com, because edmodocon is the name of the uh, conference itself. And this is the hashtag of the conference, edmodocon. Let me just drag this out of the way. So if you go to edmodocon.com, you'll come to this page. And uh, I guess when you're looking at this, it's all going to be over for the day. But uh, you can prep yourself for next year. I wonder if they put the date up for next year somewhere yet. Um, you can register for free. And you click on here. And you go to a registration form. You put normal details about yourself, your name, your, your country they asked for, and uh, your email address. And uh, I'm not going to go to that page because I've already signed up. But once you've signed up, it will take you to this page here. Edmodocon uh, tells you when it's on. Oh, it started quite early Pacific Daylight Time in the States. Choose what bandwidth video you'd like. Launch the presentation. Um, it works using Flash, so you might have to download Flash. So that's one of the sad sides of it is uh, it's not viewable on the iPad or on iOS devices. Um, and so when you launch the program, this window comes up. Let me show you the window now. And uh, so it's a fairly sparse window. Let me just turn up the volume. Uh, you won't, it won't be good quality. Why or how did this happen? Or when we were collecting our math and we were graphing it, I had trouble with this. And what the teachers have started to see is that it becomes another formative assessment are the types of questions the students are asking and the types of responses they're giving each other. So the next day they come back to class. And when the presenter is showing uh, uh, slides, the slides come up here. And this is Flash. If I right click on it, you'll see um, about Flash. And uh, um, you can ask a question here. But unfortunately, with this platform, there's no chat going on here, no interactive chat. So we have to look elsewhere. So, so where would we look? So the other places to be involved are, let me go to uh, Edmodo itself. Now, if you haven't got an Edmodo account, then sign up for an account. And when you log in, this is the sort of page you will see. And let's do a search. And let's do a search for Edmodocon which will be logical and uh, that's loading some chat that's happening about Edmodo con itself about the conference here um, and uh, uh, I think if I actually click on Edmodo con there it will allow me to follow this publisher so down here you can see it says Follow and I've actually before I set this up I checked it all out and I clicked on it and you can see I'm following and so you can one place one of the options in this online learning environment this online conference is you can look here you can see people have just posted a couple of minutes ago and we'll go to the earlier chats down here 12 minutes ago and there'll be more if we clicked on here so that's one way to keep in touch with the whole conference that's going on. Um, but there is another way. If I go back to the home button here, um, each of the presenters has actually set up uh, a group. And so the, the presenter that's going on at the moment, let me just see if she's still talking. There she is. Um, uh, each of the presenters has created a group for their materials. And if I click on here, I can join a group. 
Uh, but you need to know the group code, and that's not being published publicly or even tweeted. Good practice not to tweet group codes, otherwise griefers can get in very easy. And if I, I've written it down, but I haven't checked it yet, checked it out yet, that when she started a talk, she says her group code was eight, uh, where are we? Eight, wrong keyboard, eight, a small l, a four, a w, an r, and a two. Let's see if it, did I write it down properly? Join. So I've joined the group successfully, thank goodness. And it's in reverse alphabetical order, uh, uh, time order here. So the very first one is at the bottom, I suspect. Um, and uh, she t says a bit about herself, I think, somewhere down here. Is that really the first one, 10 minutes ago? Maybe there's some earlier ones somewhere. So that's interesting. Each, you need to know those codes seven new posts. You need to know those codes. So during her presentation, uh, these posts are happening here. It's great they're using the tool, they're walking the walk, because uh, this is the tool that I think it's 25,000 people have signed up for this online event, um, showing the popularity of Edmodo uh, to use with, with students in classrooms. It's becoming very popular. Um, and it's also been tidied up a lot from the early days. It's much cleaner and uh, Tighter and easy to follow notes, alerts, assignments, quizzes, polls. I'm not going to, we're not going to have a, <laughs> that's what they're doing during the during the conference, they're talking about this. But on the Edmodo page itself, edmodo.com, they have tutorials here as, here as well. Let me have a look at what else I've got along here. They do have a EdmodoCon FAQ. And uh, if you did have a question, come here. I'm not going to go through, through these. Um, what else have I got? They've just launched in their first uh, presentation. They launched their new Edmodo app, which I've got on my iPad, which uh, looks lovely. Very simple to use. Um, um, it's also, I think it's an iPhone app, which uh, you do the times two to get it on your iPad. There's a Twitter stream. The uh, hashtag is EdmodoCon. And I'm following the Twitter stream using... Um, tweetchat.com. Now tweetchat.com was, I wonder why I'm not seeing uh, more th more things at the top here. Oh, 210 tweets not seen. Um, at the top here you can type in your own tweet because I've signed in with my Twitter account and you can see the stream here but it's running pretty quickly. Um, you can see that. But uh, I like TweetChat as my sort of aggregator to follow a Twitter, a live Twitter stream. They did close down a few months ago as they were taken over by another company. But the other company has relaunched it and uh, they've made it even better than it was. I don't know why we've got this big thing at the top here. Maybe I've got it enlarged too much. What happens if I, if I go back to the proper size, which will be 100%? Here we go. Now oh, that's better. Okay, I'm using Google Chrome so I can make it uh, alter the magnification of the page up, up here. Um, so this is a, they, they've improved this to follow Twitter streams, um, and I and I I love it. It's great, brilliant. Um, this is the uh, the Twitter account of Edmodo themselves. So if you're ever going to use Edmodo follow them here 45,000 followers it's pretty good now what else have I got here now the other thing about this uh, this session tonight or today if you're in the States is that uh, I'm not familiar with this uh, webcasting or webinar platform called on 24 and so I thought I would have a look at that Remember, I showed you this at the beginning this is in action now this is very clean, but I think this is uh, a design that EdmodoCon have, have asked themselves, and they've decided on this layout. Unfortunately, we can't increase the size of this image, so it's we can't make we can't even make it full screen, which is a bit sad. Um, but I'm wondering whether that's something to do with On24 or whether it's something to do with the decision when that page was designed, because when I scroll down their page a bit, I can see some examples which are much fuller screens. Uh, and there's some videos here to watch. It's not free, although there's a free trial, as you can see up here. And I'm not sure if they have a free account for educators. Um, 
worth having a look at. Um, I'll, look, I'll, I'll have a look at it some more. But if it doesn't have an iPad app or an Android app, then they're really cutting down how uh, how far how much reach they will have in the education community with the number of iPads that are around. Um, what else do I have here? Anything else? <laughs> just a re just a reminder of me. Oh, that's not very good. Uh, so I think I'll finish on that and bring the splash page back, just so you know where you would go. Uh, they uh, they say that um, they're going to record all of the presentations, uh, and I'm not sure it will go. But I'm I think probably Edmodo. Con com or edmodo.com will be good places to go to see where the recordings are and if you're using Edmodo in your school probably uh, a really good thing to look at some of the videos will be good for staff staff training uh, I suspect because they're, they're releasing new stuff um, and I think that might be it and that went on for far too long 10 minutes sorry about that guys uh, have fun